Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro, Portuguese, Rai. Udizai Zanadru Lisson, or simply Rio, is the second most populous city in Brazil and the sixth most populous in the Americas. Rio de Janeiro is the capital of the state of Rio de Janeiro. Part of the city has been designated as a World Heritage Site named Rio de Janeiro. Carioca landscapes between the mountain and the sea, founded in 1565 by the Portuguese, the city was initially the seat of the captaincy of Rio de Janeiro, a domain of the Portuguese Empire. Later, in 1763, it became the capital of the state of Brazil, a state of the Portuguese Empire. In 1808, when the Portuguese royal court transferred itself from Portugal to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro became the chosen seat of the court of Queen Maria I of Portugal, who subsequently, in 1815, under the leadership of her son, the Prince Regent and future King João VI of Portugal, raised Brazil to the dignity of a kingdom within the United Kingdom of Portugal. Rio stayed the capital of the pluricontinental Lusitanian monarchy until 1822, when the War of Brazilian Independence began. This is one of the few instances in history that the capital of a colonizing country officially shifted to a city in one of its colonies. Rio de Janeiro subsequently served as the capital of the independent monarchy, the Empire of Brazil, until 1889, and then the capital of a republican Brazil until 1960 when the capital was transferred to Brasilia. Rio de Janeiro has the second largest municipal GDP in the country and 30th largest in the world in 2008, estimated at about our $343 billion, nearly U.S. $201 billion. It is headquarters to Brazilian oil, mining, and telecommunications companies, including two of the country's major corporations, Petrobras and Vale, and Latin America's largest telemedia conglomerate, Grupo Globo. The home of many universities and institutes, it is the second largest center of research and development in Brazil, accounting for 17% of national scientific output according to 2005 data. Despite the high perception of crime, the city actually has a lower incidence of crime than most state capitals in Brazil. Rio de Janeiro is one of the most visited cities in the Southern Hemisphere and is known for its natural settings, carnival, Samba, Bossa Nova, and Balneario beaches such as Barra da Tijuca, Copacabana, Ipanema, and Leblon. In addition to the beaches, some of the most famous landmarks include the giant statue of Christ the Redeemer atop Corcovado Mountain, named one of the new seven wonders of the world. Rio de Janeiro was the host of the 2016 Summer Olympics and the 2016 Summer Paralympics making the city the first South American and Portuguese-speaking city to ever host the events and the third time the Olympics were held in a Southern Hemisphere city. The Maracana Stadium held the finals of the 1950 and 2014 FIFA World Cups, the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup, and the Roman 15 Pan American Games. History Pre-Colonial Period the region of Rio was inhabited by the Tupi, Puri, Batacudo, and Maxicali peoples. Colonial Period Europeans first encountered Guanabara Bay on 1 January 1502, hence Rio de Janeiro, January River, by a Portuguese expedition under explorer Gaspar de Limos, captain of a ship in Pedro Alvares Cabral's fleet, or under Goncalo Silho. Allegedly, the Florentine explorer Amerigo Vespucci participated as observer at the invitation of King Manuel I in the same expedition. In 1555, one of the islands of Guanabara Bay, now called Villagagnan Island, was occupied by 500 French colonists under the French Admiral Nicolas Durand de Villagagnan. 
Consequently, Villagagnon built Fort Colony on the island when attempting to establish the France Antarctique colony. Eventually this French settlement became too much of a threat to the established Portuguese colony, and in 1560 the order was made to get rid of them. A year's long military aggression was then initiated by the new governor-general of Brazil, Mem de Sá, and later continued by his nephew, Estácio de Sá. On 20 January 1567, a final defeat was imposed on the French forces, and they were decisively expelled from Brazil for good. The city of Rio de Janeiro proper was founded on 1 March 1565 by the Portuguese, led by Estácio de Sá, including Antonio de Maris. It was named São Sebastião do Rio de Janeiro, in honor of Saint Sebastian, the saint who was the namesake and patron of the Portuguese then monarch Sebastião. Rio de Janeiro was the name of Guanabara Bay. Until early in the 18th century, the city was threatened or invaded by several mostly French pirates and buccaneers, such as Jean-Francois de Clerc and René du Guay-Truin. In the late 17th century, still during the Sugar Era, the Banderantes discovered gold and diamonds in the neighboring captaincy of Minas Gerais, Thus Rio de Janeiro became a much more practical port for exporting wealth gold, precious stones besides the sugar than Salvador, Bahia, much farther northeast. On 27 January 1763, the colonial administration in Portuguese America was moved from Salvador to Rio de Janeiro. The city remained primarily a colonial capital until 1808 when the Portuguese royal family and most of the associated Lisbon nobles, fleeing from Napoleon's invasion of Portugal, moved to Rio de Janeiro. Portuguese court and imperial capital. The kingdom's capital was transferred to the city, which thus became the only European capital outside of Europe. As there was no physical space or urban structure to accommodate hundreds of noblemen, who arrived suddenly, Many inhabitants were simply evicted from their homes. In the first decade, several educational establishments were created, such as the Military Academy, the Royal School of Sciences, Arts and Crafts, and the Imperial Academy of Fine Arts, as well as the National Library of Brazil with the largest collection in Latin America, and the Botanical Garden. The first printed newspaper in Brazil, the Gazeta do Rio de Janeiro, came into circulation during this period. When Brazil was elevated to kingdom in 1815, it became the capital of the United Kingdom of Portugal. From the colonial period until the first independent era, Rio de Janeiro was a city of slaves. There was a large influx of African slaves to Rio de Janeiro in 1819, there were 145,000 slaves in the captaincy. In 1840, the number of slaves reached 220,000 people. Between 1811 and 1831, 500,000 to a million slaves arrived in Rio de Janeiro through the Longo Wharf, which is now a World Heritage Site. The port of Rio de Janeiro was the largest port of slaves in America. When Prince Pedro proclaimed the independence of Brazil, 1822, he decided to keep Rio de Janeiro, the capital of his new empire, while the place was enriched with sugarcane agriculture in the Campos region and, especially, with the new coffee cultivation in the Paraíba Valley. In order to separate the province from the capital of the empire, the city was converted in neutral municipality in 1834 passing the province of Rio de Janeiro to have Nitroi as capital. As a political center of the country, Rio concentrated the political partisan life of the empire. It was the main stage of the abolitionist and republican movements in the last half of the 19th century. At that time, the number of slaves was drastically reduced and the city was developed, with modern drains, animal trams, train stations crossing the city, gas and electric lighting, 
telephone and telegraph wiring, water and river plumbing. Rio continued as the capital of Brazil after 1889, when the monarchy was replaced by a republic. On 6 February 1889, the Bangu Textile Factory was founded, with the name of Industrial Progress Company of Brazil Companhia Progresso Industrial do Brasil. The factory was officially opened on 8 March 1893, in a complex with varying architectural styles like Italianate, Neo-Gothic and a tower in mansard roof style. After the opening in 1893, workers from Great Britain arrived in Bangu to work in the textile factory. The old farms became worker villages with red bricks houses, and a neo-Gothic church was created, which still exists as the St. Sebastian and St. Cecilia Parish Church. Street cinemas and cultural buildings also appeared. In May 1894, Thomas Donohoe, a British worker from Busby, Scotland, arrived in Bangu. Danoho was horrified to discover that there was absolutely no knowledge of football among Brazilians. So he wrote to his wife, Elizabeth, asking her to bring a football when she joined him. And shortly after her arrival in September 1894, a first football match in Brazil, place in the field beside the textile factory, was a five-a-side match between British workers and took place six months before the first game organized by Charles Miller in Sao Paulo. However, the Bangu Football Club was not formally created until 1904. Republican period. At the time Brazil's old republic was established, the city lacked urban planning and sanitation, which helped spread several diseases such as yellow fever, dysentery, variola, tuberculosis, and even Black Death. Pereira Passos, who was named mayor in 1902, imposed reforms to modernize the city, demolishing the corticos where most of the poor population lived. These people, mostly descendants of slaves, then moved to live in the city's hills, creating the first favelas. Inspired by the city of Paris, Passos built the municipal theater, the National Museum of Fine Arts and the National Library in the city's center, brought electric power to Rio and created larger avenues to adapt the city to automobiles. Passos also named Dr. Oswaldo Cruz as Director General of Public Health. Cruz's plans to clean the city of diseases included compulsory vaccination of the entire population and forced entry into houses to kill mosquitoes and rats. The people of the city rebelled against Cruz's policy in what would be known as the Vaccine Revolt. In 1910, Rio saw the Revolt of the Lash, where Afro-Brazilian crew members in the Brazilian Navy mutinied against the heavy use of corporal punishment, which was similar to the punishment slaves received. The mutineers took control of the battleship Minas Gerais and threatened to fire on the city. Another military revolt occurred in 1922, the 18 of the Copacabana Fort Revolt, a march against the old republic's coronalism and café comely politics. This revolt marked the beginning of tenantism, a movement that resulted in the Brazilian Revolution of 1930 that started the Vargas era. Until the early years of the 20th century, the city was largely limited to the neighborhood now known as the historic city center Sea Below, on the mouth of Guanabara Bay. The city's center of gravity began to shift south and west to the so-called Zona Sol South Zone in the early part of the 20th century, when the first tunnel was built under the mountains between Botafogo and the neighborhood that is now known as Copacabana. Expansion of the city to the north and south was facilitated by the consolidation and electrification of Rio's streetcar transit system after 1905. Botafogo's natural environment, combined with the fame of the Copacabana Palace Hotel, a luxury hotel of the Americas in the 1930s, helped Rio to gain the reputation it still holds today as a beach party town. 
This reputation has been somewhat tarnished in recent years by favela violence resulting from the narcotics trade and militias. Plans for moving the nation's capital city from Rio de Janeiro to the center of Brazil had been occasionally discussed, and when Juscelino Kubitschek was elected president in 1955, it was partially on the strength of promises to build a new capital. Though many thought that it was just campaign rhetoric, Kubitschek managed to have Brasilia and a new federal district built, at great cost, by 1960. On 21 April of that year, the capital of Brazil was officially moved to Brasilia. The territory of the former federal district became its own state, Guanabara, after the bay that borders it to the east, encompassing just the city of Rio de Janeiro. For the 1964 coup d'etat that installed a military dictatorship, then, in 1975, a presidential decree known as the Fusion removed the city's federative status and merged it with the state of Rio de Janeiro, with the city of Rio de Janeiro replacing Nitroi as the state's capital and establishing the Rio de Janeiro metropolitan region. In 1992, Rio hosted the Earth Summit, a United Nations conference to fight environmental degradation. Twenty years later, in 2012, the city hosted another conference on sustainable development, named United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. The city hosted the World Youth Day in 2013, the second World Youth Day in South America, and first in Brazil. In the sports field, Rio de Janeiro was the host of the 2007 Pan American Games and the 2014 FIFA World Cup Final. On 2 October 2009, the International Olympic Committee announced that Rio de Janeiro would host the 2016 Olympic Games and the 2016 Paralympic Games, beating competitors Chicago, Tokyo, and Madrid. The city became the first South American city to host the event and the second Latin American city after Mexico City in 1968 to host the Games. Geography. Rio de Janeiro is on the far western part of a strip of Brazil's Atlantic coast between a straight east to Ilha Grande on the Costa Verde and the Cabo Frio close to the Tropic of Capricorn, where the shoreline is oriented east-west. Facing largely south, the city was founded on an inlet of this stretch of the coast, Guanabara Bay Bea de Guanabara, and its entrance is marked by a point of land called Sugarloaf Pau de Cucar, a calling card of the city. The center centro, the core of Rio, lies on the plains of the western shore of Guanabara Bay. The greater portion of the city, commonly referred to as the North Zone Zona Norte, Rio de Janeiro, extends to the northwest on plains composed of marine and continental sediments and on hills and several rocky mountains. The south zone zona sul of the city, reaching the beaches fringing the open sea, is cut off from the center and from the north zone by coastal mountains. These mountains and hills are offshoots of the Serra do Mar to the northwest, the ancient Nace granite mountain chain that forms the southern slopes of the Brazilian highlands. The large west zone zona east, long cut off by the mountainous terrain, had been made more easily accessible to those on the south zone by new roads and tunnels by the end of the 20th century. The population of the city of Rio de Janeiro, occupying an area of 1182, 3 square kilometers 456, 5 sq mi, is about 6 million. The population of the greater metropolitan area is estimated at 1113. 5 million. Residents of the city are known as cariocas. The official song of Rio is Sedate Maravilhosa by composer Andre Filho. Parks. The city has parks and ecological reserves such as the Tijuca National Park, the world's first urban forest, and UNESCO Environmental Heritage and Biosphere Reserve. In addition, the Flame Go Park is the largest landfill in the city, extending from the center to the south zone, 
and containing museums and monuments, in addition to much vegetation. Environment. Due to the high concentration of industries in the metropolitan region, the city has faced serious problems of environmental pollution. The Guanabara Bay has lost mangrove areas and suffers from residues from domestic and industrial sewage, oils, and heavy metals. Although its waters renew when they reach the sea, the bay is the final receiver of all the tributaries generated along its banks and in the basins of the many rivers and streams that flow into it. The levels of particulate matter in the air are twice as high as that recommended by the World Health Organization, in part because of the large numbers of vehicles in circulation. The waters of Sepetiba Bay are slowly following the path traced by Guanabara Bay, with sewage generated by a population of the order of 1. 29 million inhabitants being released without treatment in streams or rivers. With regard to industrial pollution, highly toxic wastes, with high concentrations of heavy metals mainly zinc and cadmium, have been dumped over the years by factories in the industrial districts of Santa Cruz, Itagui, and Nova Iguacu, constructed under the supervision of state policies. The Maripendi Lagoon and the Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon have suffered with the leniency of the authorities and the growth in the number of apartment buildings close by. The illegal discharge of sewage and the consequent deaths of algae diminished the oxygenation of the waters, causing fish mortality. There are, on the other hand, signs of decontamination in the lagoon made through a public-private partnership established in 2008 to ensure that the lagoon waters will eventually be suitable for bathing. The decontamination actions involve the transfer of sludge to large craters present in the lagoon itself and the creation of a new direct and underground connection with the sea, which will contribute to increase the daily water exchange between the two environments. However, during the Olympics, the lagoon hosted the rowing competitions, and there were numerous concerns about potential infection resulting from human sewage. Climate Rio has a tropical savanna climate, all that closely borders a tropical monsoon climate am according to the Köppen climate classification and is often characterized by long periods of heavy rain between December and March. The city experiences hot, humid summers and warm, sunny winters. In inland areas of the city, temperatures above 40 deg C 104 deg F are common during the summer, though rarely for long periods, while maximum temperatures above 27 deg C 81 deg F can occur on a monthly basis. Along the coast, the breeze blowing onshore and offshore moderates the temperature. Because of its geographic situation, the city is often reached by cold fronts advancing from Antarctica, especially during autumn and winter, causing frequent weather changes. In summer there can be strong rains, which have, on some occasions, provoked catastrophic floods and landslides. The mountainous areas register greater rainfall since they constitute a barrier to the humid wind that comes from the Atlantic. The city has had rare frosts in the past. Some areas within Rio de Janeiro state occasionally have falls of snow grains and ice pellets popularly called granizo and hail. Drought is very rare, albeit bound to happen occasionally given the city's strongly seasonal tropical climate. The Brazilian drought of 2014-2015, most severe in the southeast region, and the worst in decades, affected the entire metropolitan region's water supply and diversion from the Paraiba do Sul River to the Guandu River is a major source for the state's most populous mess origin. There were plans to divert the Paraiba do Sul to the Sistema Cantariera Cantariera system during the water crisis of 2014 in order to help the critically drought-stricken Greater Sao Paulo area. However, availability of sufficient rainfall to supply tap water to both metropolitan areas in the future is merely speculative. Roughly in the same suburbs Nova Iguacu, and surrounding areas, including parts of Campo Grande and Bangu, 
that correspond to the location of the March 2012, February March 2013, and January 2015 pseudo hail Granizo Falls. There was a tornado like phenomenon in January 2011, for the first time in the region's recorded history, causing structural damage and long lasting blackouts, but no fatalities. The World Meteorological Organization has advised that Brazil, especially its southeastern region, must be prepared for increasingly severe weather occurrences in the near future. In early May 2013, winds registering above 90 km h 56 mph caused blackouts in 15 neighborhoods of the city and three surrounding municipalities and killed one person. Rio saw similarly high winds about 100 km h 62 mph in January 2015. The average annual minimum temperature is 21 deg C 70 deg F. The average annual maximum temperature is 27 deg C 81 deg F. And the average annual temperature is 24 deg C 75 deg F. The average yearly precipitation is 1069 mm 42. 1 in. Temperature also varies according to elevation, distance from the coast, and type of vegetation or land use. During the winter, cold fronts and dawn slash morning sea breezes bring mild temperatures, cold fronts, the intertropical convergence zone in the form of winds from the Amazon forest, the strongest seaborne winds often from an extratropical cyclone, and summer evapotranspiration bring showers or storms. Thus, the monsoon-like climate has dry and mild winters and springs and very wet and warm summers and autumns. As a result, temperatures over 40 deg C 104 deg F that may happen about year-round but are much more common during the summer often mean the actual temperature feeling is over 50 deg C 122 deg F when there is little wind and the relative humidity percentage is high. Rio de Janeiro is second only to Cuiaba, as the hottest Brazilian state capital outside northern and northeastern Brazil, temperatures below 14 deg C 57 deg F occur yearly, while those lower than 11 deg C 52 deg F happen less often. The phrase phaser frio making cold, i.e. the weather is getting cold, usually refers to temperatures going below 21 deg C 70 deg F. Between 1961 and 1990, at the Inmit Brazilian National Institute of Meteorology Conventional Station in the neighborhood of Saud, the lowest temperature recorded was 10. 1 deg C50. 2 deg F in October 1977, and the highest temperature recorded was 39 deg C102. 2 deg F in December 1963. The highest accumulated rainfall in 24 hours was 167, 4 mm 6, 6 in, in January 1962. However, the absolute minimum temperature ever recorded at the Inmit Jacarepagua station was 3, 8 deg C 38, 8 deg F in July 1974, while the absolute maximum was 43. 2 deg C 110 deg F on 26 December 2012 in the neighborhood of the Santa Cruz station. The highest accumulated rainfall in 24 hours, 186. 2 mm 7. 3 in was recorded at the Santa Teresa station in April 1967. The lowest temperature ever registered in the 21st century was 8. 1 deg C 46. 6 deg F in Vila Militar, July 2011. City Districts The city is commonly divided into the historic center Centro, the tourist-friendly wealthier South Zone Zona Sol, the residential less wealthy North Zone Zona Nort, peripheries in the West Zone Zona East, among them Santa Cruz, Campo Grande, and the wealthy newer Barada Tijuca District. Central Zone Centro or downtown is the historic core of the city, as well as its financial center. 
Sites of interest include the Paco Imperial, built during colonial times to serve as a residence for the Portuguese governors of Brazil, many historic churches, such as the Candelaria Church, the former cathedral, São José, Santa Lucia, Nossa Senhora do Carmo, Santa Rita, São Francisco de Paula, and the monasteries of Santo Antonio and São Bento. The centro also houses the modern concrete Rio de Janeiro Cathedral. Around the Sinolandia Square, there are several landmarks of the Belle Epoque of Rio, such as the Municipal Theater and the National Library Building. Among its several museums, the Museu Nacional de Belas Arts National Museum of Fine Arts and the Museu Historico Nacional National Historical Museum are the most important. Other important historical attractions in Central Rio include its Paseo Publico, an 18th century public garden. Major streets include Avenida Rio Branco and Avenida Vargas, both constructed in 1906 and 1942 respectively. A number of colonial streets, such as Uandu Uvidor and Uruguayana, have long been pedestrian spaces, and the popular Sara shopping district has been pedestrianized more recently. Also located in the center is the traditional neighborhood called Lapa, an important bohemian area frequented by both townspeople and tourists. South Zone The South Zone of Rio de Janeiro Zona Sul is composed of several districts, among which are São Conrado, Leblon, Ipanema, Arpodor, Copacabana, and Lime, which compose Rio's famous Atlantic Beach coastline. Other districts in the South Zone are Gloria, Catite, Flamengo, Botafogo, and Urca, which border Guanabara Bay, and Santa Teresa, Cosme Velho, Laranjeiras, Humeta, Lagoa, Jardim Botanico, and Gavia. It is the wealthiest part of the city, and the best known overseas, the neighborhoods of Leblon and Ipanema in particular, have the most expensive real estate in all of South America. The neighborhood of Copacabana Beach hosts one of the world's most spectacular New Year's Eve parties revealing, as more than two million revelers crowd onto the sands to watch the fireworks display. From 2001, the fireworks have been launched from boats to improve the safety of the event. To the north of Lean, and at the entrance to Guanabara Bay, is the district of Urca, and the Sugarloaf Mountain Pau de Cucar, whose name describes the famous mountain rising out of the sea. The summit can be reached via a two-stage cable car trip from Praia Vermelha, with the intermediate stop on Moro da Urca. It offers views of the city second only to Corcovado Mountain. Hang gliding is a popular activity on the Pedra Bonita, literally, beautiful rock. After a short flight, gliders land on the Praia do Pepino Pepino or Cucumber Beach in São Conrado. Since 1961, the Tijuca National Park Park National da Tijuca, the largest city-surrounded urban forest and the second-largest urban forest in the world, has been a national park. The largest urban forest in the world is the Floresta da Pedra Branca White Rock Forest, which is located in the west zone of Rio de Janeiro. The Pontifical Catholic University of Rio Pontificia Universidade Católica do Rio de Janeiro, or PUC Rio, Brazil's top private university, is located at the edge of the forest in the Gavia district. A 1984 film Blame It on Rio was filmed nearby, with the rental house used by the story's characters sitting at the edge of the forest on a mountain overlooking the famous beaches. In 2012, CNN elected Ipanema the best city beach in the world. North Zone The North Zone Zona Norte begins at Grand Tijuca, the middle-class residential and commercial barrow of Tijuca, just west of the city center, and sprawls four miles inland until Bexada Fluminense and the city's northwest. This region is home to the Maracana Stadium located in Grand Tijuca, once the world's highest capacity football venue, 
able to hold nearly 199,000 people, as it did for the World Cup final of 1950. More recently, its capacity has been reduced to conform with modern safety regulations, and the stadium has introduced seating for all fans. Currently undergoing reconstruction, it now has the capacity for 90,000. It will eventually hold around 80,000 people. Maracana was the site for the opening and closing ceremonies and football competition of the 2007 Pan American Games, hosted the final match of the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the opening and closing ceremonies, and the football matches of the 2016 Summer Olympics. Besides Maracana, the north zone of Rio also has other tourist and historical attractions, such Nasa Senhora da Penha de Franca Church, the Christ the Redeemer statue with its stairway built into the rock bed, Manguinhos, the home of Instituto Oswaldo Cruz, a centenarian biomedical research institution with a main building fashioned like a Moorish palace, and the Quinta da Boa Vista, the park where the historic Imperial Palace is located. Nowadays, Palace hosts the National Museum, specializing in natural history, archaeology, and ethnology. The International Airport of Rio de Janeiro Galao Antonio Carlos Jobim International Airport, named after the famous Brazilian musician Antonio Carlos Jobim, the main campus of the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro at the Fundau Island, and the State University of Rio de Janeiro in Maracana are also located in the northern part of Rio. This region is also home to most of the Samba schools of Rio de Janeiro, such as Manura, Salguero, Imperio Serrano, Unidos da Tijuca, Imperatriz Leopoldinense, among others. Some of the main neighborhoods of Rio's north zone are Alto da Boa Vista, which shares the Tijuca rainforest with the south and southwest zones, Tijuca Vila Isabel, Meyer, São Cristóvão, Majurera, Penha, Manguinhos, Fundau, Olaria, among others. Many of Rio de Janeiro's roughly 1,000 slums, or favelas, are located in the north zone. The favelas resemble the slums of Paris, New York, or other major cities in the 19th and early 20th centuries in the United States and Europe, or similar neighborhoods in present underdeveloped countries. West Zone West Zone Zona east of Rio de Janeiro is a vaguely defined area that covers some 50% of the city's entire area, including Barra da Tijuca and Recreo das Bandeirantes neighborhoods. The west side of Rio has many historic sites because of the old Royal Road of Santa Cruz that crossed the territory in the regions of Rilingo, Bangu, and Campo Grande, finishing at the Royal Palace of Santa Cruz in the Santa Cruz region. The highest peak of the city of Rio de Janeiro is the Pedra Branca Peak Pico da Pedra Branca inside the Pedra Branca State Park. It has an altitude of 1020 form. The Pedra Branca State Park Park Estadual da Pedra Branca is the biggest urban state park in the world comprising 17 neighborhoods in the west side, being a giant lung in the city with trails, waterfalls and historic constructions like an old aqueduct in the Colonia Juliano Moreira in the neighborhood of Taquara and a dam in Camorum. The park has three principal entrances. The main one is in Taquara called Pau da Foam Core. Another entrance is the Puraquara Core in Rilingo, and the last one is the Camorum Core, considered the cultural heritage of the city. Santa Cruz and Campo Grande region have exhibited economic growth, mainly in the Campo Grande neighborhood. Industrial enterprises are being built in lower and lower middle class residential Santa Cruz, one of the largest and most populous of Rio de Janeiro's neighborhoods, most notably Ternium Brassel, a new steel mill with its own private docks on Sepetiba Bay, which is planned to be South America's largest steel works. A tunnel called Tunnel da Grota Funda opened in 2012, Varada Tijuca region. 
This is an elite area of the west zone of the city of Rio de Janeiro. It includes Barra da Tijuca, Recreo das Bandeirantes, Varjum Grande, Varjum Pequina, Rumari Itenhanga, Camorum, and Joa. Westwards from the older zones of Rio, Barra da Tijuca, is a flat complex of barrier islands of formerly undeveloped coastal land, which constantly experiences new constructions and developments. It remains an area of accelerated growth, attracting some of the richer sectors of the population as well as luxury companies. High-rise flats and sprawling shopping centers give the area a far more modern feel than the crowded city center. The urban planning of the area, completed in the late 1960s, the beaches of Barra da Tijuca are also popular with the residents from other parts of the city. One of the most famous hills in the city is the 842-meter-high 2762-foot Pedra da Gavia Crow's Nest Rock bordering the south zone. On the top of its summit is a huge rock formation sum, such as Erich von Daniken in his 1973 book, In Search of Ancient Gods, claim it to be a sculpture resembling a sphinx-like, bearded head, that is visible for many kilometers around. Demographics According to the 2010 IBJ census, there were 5,940,224 people residing in the city of Rio de Janeiro. The census revealed the following numbers, 3,239,888 white people 51, 2%, 2 percent, 2,318,000, 675 Pardo multiracial people 36, 5%, 708,148 black people 11, 5%, 45,913 Asian people 0, 7%, 5,981 Amerindian people 0, 1%, the population of Rio de Janeiro was 53, 2% female and 46, 8% male. In 2010, the city of Rio de Janeiro was the second most populous city in Brazil, after Sao Paulo. Different ethnic groups contributed to the formation of the population of Rio de Janeiro. Before European colonization, there were at least seven different indigenous peoples speaking 20 languages in the region. A part of them joined the Portuguese and the other the French. Those who joined the French were then exterminated by the Portuguese, while the other part was assimilated. Rio de Janeiro is home to the largest Portuguese population outside of Lisbon in Portugal. After independence from Portugal, Rio de Janeiro became a destination for hundreds of thousands of immigrants from Portugal, mainly in the early 20th century. The immigrants were mostly poor peasants who subsequently found prosperity in Rio as city workers and small traders. The Portuguese cultural influence is still seen in many parts of the city and many other parts of the state of Rio de Janeiro, including architecture and language. Most Brazilians with some cultural contact with Rio know how to easily differentiate between the local dialect Fluminense and other Brazilian dialects. People of Portuguese ancestry predominate in most of the state. The Brazilian census of 1920 showed that 39.7% of the Portuguese who lived in Brazil lived in Rio de Janeiro, including all of the Rio de Janeiro. The proportion raised to 46. 3% of the Portuguese who lived in Brazil. The numerical presence of the Portuguese was extremely high, accounting for 72% of the foreigners who lived in the capital. Portuguese-born people accounted for 24% of the population of Rio, and those with a Portuguese father or a Portuguese mother accounted for 38%. In other words, native-born Portuguese and their children accounted for 51. 2 percent of the inhabitants of Rio, or a total of 267,664 people, 1890. 
The black community was formed by residents whose ancestors had been brought as slaves, mostly from Angola and Mozambique, as well by people of Angolan, Mozambican, and West African descent who moved to Rio from other parts of Brazil. The samba from Bahia, with Angolan influence and the famous local version of the carnival from Europe first appeared under the influence of the black community in the city. Today, nearly half of the city's population is by phenotype perceptibly black or part black. A large majority has some recent sub-Saharan ancestor. White in Brazil is defined more by having a European-looking phenotype rather than ancestry, and two full siblings can be of different racial categories in a skin color and phenotype continuum from pallido, branco, or fair-skinned, through branco morno or swarthy caucasian, mestico claro or lighter skinned multiracial, pardo mixed race to negro or black. Pardo, for example, in popular usage includes those who are caboclos mestizos, mulatos mulatos, cafuzos zambos, jucaras archaic term for triracials, and westernized amerindians which are called caboclos as well, being more of a skin color rather than a racial group in particular. As a result of the influx of immigrants to Brazil from the late 19th to the early 20th century, also found in Rio de Janeiro, and its metropolitan area are communities of Levantine Arabs, who are mostly Christian or irreligious Spaniards, Italians, Germans, Japanese, Jews, and people from other parts of Brazil. The main waves of internal migration came from people of African, mixed or older Portuguese as descendants of early settlers' descent from Minas Gerais and people of Eastern European, Swiss, Italian, German, Portuguese and older Portuguese Brazilian heritage from Espirito Santo in the early and mid-20th century, together with people with origins in northeastern Brazil, in the mid to late and late 20th century, as well some in the early 21st century, the latter more directed to peripheral. According to an autosomal DNA study from 2009, ducted on a school in the poor suburb of Rio de Janeiro, the pardos there were found to be on average about 80% European, and the whites who thought of themselves very mixed were found to carry very little Amerindian and slash or African admixtures. The results of the tests of genomic ancestry are quite different from the self-made estimates of European ancestry. In general, the test results showed that European ancestry is far more important than the students thought it would be. The Pardos, for example, thought of themselves as one slash three European, 1-3 African and 1-3 Amerindian before the tests, and yet their ancestry on average reached 80% European. Other studies showed similar results. Population growth. Rio de Janeiro is the second largest city in Brazil after Sao Paulo, and has a rapidly expanding population and rapidly growing area due to rapid urbanization. Changing Demographics, the city of Rio de Janeiro. Religion. Religion in Rio de Janeiro is diverse, with Catholic Christianity being the majority religion. According to data from the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, IBGE, in 2010 the population of Rio de Janeiro had 3,229,192 Roman Catholics 51. 1%, 1,477,021 Protestants, 23. 4%, 372. 851 Spiritists, 5. 9%, 37,974 Jehovah's Witnesses, 0. 6%, 75,075 Buddhists, 0. 2%, 52,213 Umbanda, 0. 8%, 21,800 Jews, 0. 3%, 25,743 Brazilian Catholic Apostolic Church, 0. 4%, 16,776 New Eastern Religious, 0. 2%, 
two percent twenty eight thousand eight hundred forty three candomble zero four percent three thousand eight hundred fifty three mormons zero one percent five thousand seven hundred fifty one eastern orthodox christians zero one percent seven thousand three hundred ninety four spiritualists zero one percent nine hundred sixty four muslims zero one percent five thousand six hundred sixty two esoteric zero one percent eight hundred two or hindu zero one percent others eight hundred fifty eight thousand seven hundred four had no religion thirteen five percent and one hundred thirteen thousand five hundred thirty followed other forms of christianity one eight percent rio de janeiro has had a rich and influential catholic tradition the roman catholic archdiocese of sao sebastião do rio de janeiro is the second largest archdiocese in brazil after sao paulo the rio de janeiro cathedral was inaugurated in nineteen seventy nine in the central region of the city its installations have a collection of great historical and religious value the archdiocesan museum of sacred art and the archdiocesan archive in a contemporary architecture it has a conical shape with ninety six meters of internal diameter and capacity to receive up to twenty thousand faithful the splendor of the building with straight and sober lines is due to the changing stained glass windows carved on the walls up to the dome. Its design and execution was coordinated by Monsignor Ivo Antonio Cagliari, 1918-2005. Saint Sebastian is recognized as the city's patron saint, which is why it received the canonical name of Saint Sebastian of Rio de Janeiro. Many Protestant creeds coexist in the city, Presbyterian, Congregational, Lutheran and Anglican churches. In addition to evangelical churches such as the Baptist, Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist and Pentecostal churches such as the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, Assembly of God, Christian Congregation in Brazil, and the Foursquare Church. Afro-Brazilian religions such as Umbanda and Candomble find support in various social segments although professed by less than two percent of the population many karaokas simultaneously observe those practices with roman catholicism social issues there are significant disparities between the rich and the poor in rio de janeiro and different socioeconomic groups are largely segregated into different neighborhoods although the city clearly ranks among the world's major metropolises Large numbers live in slums known as favelas, where 95% of the population are poor, compared to 40% in the general population. There have been a number of government initiatives to counter this problem, from the removal of the population from favelas to housing projects such as Cidade de Deus to the more recent approach of improving conditions in the favelas and bringing them up to par with the rest of the city, as was the focus of the Favla Barrow program and deployment of pacifying police units. Rio has more people living in slums than any other city in Brazil, according to the 2010 census. More than 1,500,000 people live in its 763 favelas, 22% of Rio's total population. Sao Paulo, the largest city in Brazil, has more favelas than 20 in sheer numbers, proportionally has fewer people living in favelas than Rio. Rio also has a large proportion of state-sanctioned violence, with about 20% of all killings committed by state security. In 2019, police killed an average of five people each day in the state of Rio de Janeiro, with a total of 1810 killed in the year. This was more police killings than any year since official records started in 1998. Economy. Rio de Janeiro has the second largest GDP of any city in Brazil, surpassed only by Sao Paulo. According to the IGE, it was approximately US$201 billion in 2008, equivalent to 5. 
1% of the national total. Taking into consideration the network of influence exerted by the urban metropolis which covers 11.3% of the population, this share in GDP rises to 14.4%, according to a study released in October 2008 by the IJ. Greater Rio de Janeiro, as perceived by the IJ, as a GDP of US$187 billion, constituting the second largest hub of national wealth. Per capita GDP is U$11,786. It concentrates 68% of the state's economic strength and 7.9% of all goods and services produced in the country. The services sector comprises the largest portion of GDP 65, 5%, followed by commerce 23, 4%, industrial activities 11, 1% and agriculture 0, 1%, benefiting from the federal capital position it had for a long period 1763-1960. The city became a dynamic administrative, financial, commercial, and cultural center. Rio de Janeiro became an attractive place for companies to locate when it was the capital of Brazil, as important sectors of society and of the government were present in the city, even when their factories were located in other cities or states. The city was chosen as headquarters for state-owned companies such as Petrobras, Eletrobras takes Economica Federal, National Economic and Social Development Bank and Vail, which was privatized in the 1990s. The Rio de Janeiro Stock Exchange BVRJ, which currently trades only government securities, was the first stock exchange founded in Brazil in 1845. Despite the transfer of the capital to Brasilia in 1960, Many of these headquarters remained within the Rio metropolitan area. The offshore oil exploration in the Campos Basin began in 1968 and became the main site for oil production of Brazil. This caused many oil and gas companies to be based in Rio de Janeiro, such as the Brazilian branches of Shell, EBX, and Esso. For many years, Rio was the second largest industrial hub of Brazil with oil refineries, shipbuilding industries, steel, metallurgy, petrochemicals, cement, pharmaceutical, textile, processed foods and furniture industries. Major international pharmaceutical companies have their Brazilian headquarters in Rio such as Merck, Roch, Arrow, Darrow, Baxter, Maine, and Mapel. A newer electronics and computer sector has been added to the more established industries. Construction, also an important activity, provides a significant source of employment for large numbers of unskilled workers and is buoyed by the number of seasonal residents who build second homes in the greater Rio de Janeiro area. Rio is an important financial center, second only to Sao Paulo in volume of business. Its securities market, although declining in significance relative to Sao Paulo, is still of major importance. Recent decades have seen a sharp transformation in its economic profile, which is becoming more and more one of a major national hub of services and businesses. The city is the headquarters of large telecom companies such as Intellig, Oi, and Embratel. Major Brazilian entertainment and media organizations are based in Rio de Janeiro like Organizacos Globo, and also some of Brazil's major newspapers, Jornal do Brasil, Odaia, and Business Rio. Tourism and entertainment are other key aspects of the city's economic life. The city is the nation's top tourist attraction for both Brazilians and foreigners. To attract industry, the state government has designated certain areas on the outskirts of the city as industrial districts where infrastructure is provided and land sales are made under special conditions. Oil and natural gas from fields off the northern coast of Rio de Janeiro State are a major asset used for developing manufacturing activities in Rio's metropolitan area 
enabling it to compete with other major cities for new investment in industry. Owing to the proximity of Rio's port facilities, many of Brazil's export-import companies are headquartered in the city. In Greater Rio, which has one of the highest per capita incomes in Brazil, retail trade is substantial. Many of the most important retail stores are located in the center but others are scattered throughout the commercial areas of the other districts, where shopping centers, supermarkets, and other retail businesses handle a large volume of consumer trade. Rio de Janeiro is, as of 2014, the second largest exporting municipality in Brazil. Annually, Rio exported a total of $7.49 BUSD worth of goods. The top three goods exported by the municipality were crude petroleum 40%, semi-finished iron product 16%, and semi-finished steel products 11%. Material categories of mineral products 42% and metals 29% make up 71% of all exports from Rio. Compared to other cities, Rio de Janeiro's economy is the second largest in Brazil, behind Sao Paulo, and the 30th largest in the world, with a GDP of our dollar 2019 billion in 2010. The per capita income for the city was our $22,903 in 2007, around U.S. $14,630. Largely because of the strength of Brazil's currency at the time, Mercer's city rankings of cost of living for expatriate employees reported that Rio de Janeiro ranked 12th among the most expensive cities in the world in 2011, up from the 29th position in 2010, just behind Sao Paulo ranked 10th, and ahead of London, Paris, Milan, and New York. Rio also had the most expensive hotel rates in Brazil, and the daily rate of its five-star hotels were the second most expensive in the world, after only New York. Tourism. Rio de Janeiro is Brazil's primary tourist attraction and resort. It receives the most visitors per year of any city in South America with 2.82 million international tourists a year. The city boasts world-class hotels like Belmond Copacabana Palace, approximately 80 kilometers of beaches, and the famous Corcovado, Sugarloaf Mountains, and Maracana Stadium. While the city had in past had a thriving tourism sector, the industry entered a decline in the last quarter of the 20th century. Annual international airport arrivals dropped from 621,000 to 378,000 and average hotel occupancy dropped to 50% between 1985 and 1993. The fact that Brasilia replaced Rio de Janeiro as the Brazilian capital in 1960 and that Sao Paulo replaced Rio as the country's commercial, financial and main cultural center during the mid-20th century has also been cited as a leading cause of the decline. Rio de Janeiro's government has since undertaken to modernize the city's economy, reduce its chronic social inequalities, and improve its commercial standing as part of an initiative for the regeneration of the tourism industry. The city is an important global LGBT destination, one million LGBT tourists visiting each year. The UF Farm de Amodo is located in Ipanema, a famous neighborhood in the south zone of Rio de Janeiro. The street and the nearby beach, famous tourist spots, are remarkable for their popularity in the LGBT community. Rio de Janeiro is the most awarded destination by World Travel Awards in the South American category of Best Destination. Education. The Portuguese language is the official and national language, and thus the primary language taught in schools. English and Spanish are also part of the official curriculum. There are also international schools, educational institutions. The city has several universities and research institutes. The Ministry of Education has certified approximately 99 upper learning institutions in Rio. 
The most prestigious university is the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. It is the fifth best in Latin America, the second best in Brazil, second only to the University of Sao Paulo, and the best in Latin America, according to the QS World University Rankings. Some notable higher education institutions are Federal University of Rio de Janeiro Uffage, Federal University of the Rio de Janeiro State Unirio, Rio de Janeiro State University Uage, Federal Rural University of Rio de Janeiro Uffage, often nicknamed Rural, Fluminense Federal University UFF, Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro PUC Rio, Getulio Vargas Foundation FGV, Military Institute of Engineering IME. There are more than 137 upper learning institutions in whole Rio de Janeiro state. Educational system. Primary schools are largely under municipal administration, while the state plays a more significant role in the extensive network of secondary schools. There are also a small number of schools under federal administration, as is the case of Pedro Roman II School, Colgio de Aplicacao da Uffage, and the Centro Federal de Educacao Tecnologico of Rio de Janeiro Cefet RJ. In addition, Rio has an ample offering of private schools that provide education at all levels. Rio is home to many colleges and universities. The literacy rate for cariocas aged 10 and older is nearly 95 percent, well above the national average. The Rio de Janeiro State University Public. Other institutes of higher learning include the Colgio Regina Sealy in Usina, notable for having its own 3FT914MM narrow-gauge funicular railway on its grounds. In Rio, there were 1033 primary schools with 25,594 teachers and 667,788 students in 1995. There are 370 secondary schools with 9,699 teachers and 227,892 students. There are 53 university preparatory schools with 14,864 teachers and 154,447 students. The city has six major universities and 47 private schools of higher learning. Culture. Rio de Janeiro, a main cultural hub in Brazil. Its architecture embraces churches and buildings dating from the 16th to the 19th centuries, blending with the world-renowned designs of the 20th century. Rio was home to the Portuguese imperial family and capital of the country for many years, and was influenced by Portuguese, English, and French architecture. Rio de Janeiro has inherited a strong cultural role from the past. In the late 19th century, there were sessions held of the first Brazilian film, and since then, Several production cycles have spread out, eventually placing Rio at the forefront of experimental and national cinema. The Rio de Janeiro International Film Festival has been held annually since 1999. Rio currently brings together the main production centers of Brazilian television. Major international films set in Rio de Janeiro include Blame It on Rio, the James Bond film Moonraker, the Oscar award-winning, critically acclaimed Central Station by Walter Salles, who is also one of Brazil's best-known directors, and the Oscar award-winning historical drama Black Orpheus, which depicted the early days of Carnaval in Rio de Janeiro. Internationally famous, Brazilian-made movies illustrating a darker side of Rio de Janeiro include Elite Squad and City of God. Rio has many important cultural landmarks, such as the Biblioteca National National Library, one of the largest libraries in the world with collections totaling more than 9 million items, the Teatro Municipal, the National Museum of Fine Arts, the Carmen Miranda Museum, the Rio de Janeiro Botanical Garden, the Park Lage, 
the Quinta da Boa Vista, the Imperial Square, Brazilian Academy of Letters, the Museu de Art Moderna do Rio de Janeiro, and the Natural Literature. After Brazilian independence from Portugal in 1822, Rio de Janeiro quickly developed a European-style bourgeois cultural life, including numerous newspapers in which most 19th-century novels were initially published in serial. Joaquim Manuel de Macedo's A Morning in 1844 was perhaps the first successful novel in Brazil and inaugurates a recurrent 19th-century theme a romantic relationship between idealistic young people in spite of cruelties of social fortune. The first notable work of realism focusing on the urban lower middle class is Manuel Antonio de Almeida's Memorias de um Sargento de Milicias, 1854, which presents a series of picaresque but touching scenes and evokes the transformation of a town into a city with suggestive nostalgia. Romantic and realist modes both flourished through the late 19th century and often overlapped within works. The most famous author of Rio de Janeiro, however, was Machado de Assis, who is also widely regarded as the greatest writer of Brazilian literature and considered the founder of realism in Brazil, with the publication of the posthumous memoirs of Bras Cubas, 1881. He commented on and criticized the political and social events of the city and country, such as the abolition of slavery in 1888 and the transition from empire to republic with his numerous chronicles published in newspapers of the time. Many of his short stories and novels, like Quintas Borba 1891 and Don Casmero 1899, are placed in Rio. The headquarters of the Brazilian Academy of Letters is based in Rio de Janeiro. It was satirized by the novelist Jorge Amado in pen, sword, camisole. Amado himself went on to be one of the 40 members of the Academy. Libraries The Biblioteca Nacional National Library of Brazil ranks as one of the largest libraries in the world. It is also the largest library in all of Latin America. Located in Sinalandia, the National Library was originally created by the King of Portugal in 1810. As with many of Rio de Janeiro's cultural monuments, the library was originally off-limits to the general public. The most valuable collections in the library include 4,300 items donated by Barbosa Machado, including a precious collection of rare brochures detailing the history of Portugal and Brazil, 2365 items from the 17th and 18th centuries that were previously owned by Antonio de Arrojo de Azevedo, the Count of Barca, including the 125-volume set of prints Le Grand Theatre de El Universe, a collection of documents regarding the collection contains 48,236 items. Individual items of special interest include a rare first edition of O.S. Lusiadas by Louis de Camos, published in 1584, two copies of the Magancha Bible, and a first edition of Handel's Messiah. The institution was founded in 1837 by a group of 43 Portuguese immigrants, political refugees, to promote culture among the Portuguese community in the then capital of the empire. The history of the Brazilian Academy of Letters is linked to the real Gabinete. Music. The official song of Rio de Janeiro is Cidade Maravilhosa, which means Marvelous City. The song is considered the civic anthem of Rio and is always the favorite song during Rio's carnival in February. Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo are considered the center of the urban music movement in Brazil. Rio was popularized by the hit song The Girl from Ipanema, composed by Antonio Carlos Jobim and Vinicius de Maurice, and recorded by Estrad Gilberto and Joao Gilberto, Frank Sinatra, and Ella Fitzgerald. It is also the main key song of the bossa nova, a music genre born in Rio. A genre unique to Rio and Brazil as a whole is funk carioca. 
while samba music continues to act as the national unifying agent in Rio, funk carioca found a strong community following in Brazil, with its genesis in the 1970s as the modern black pop music from the United States. It evolved in the 1990s to describe a variety of electronic music associated with the current U.S. black music scene, including hip-hop, modern soul, and house music. Brazil's return to democracy in 1985 allowed for a new music expression, which promoted creativity and experimentation in expressive culture, in a wave of rock and roll that swept the 80s. Lobau emerged as the most legendary rocker in Brazil. Commercial and cultural imports from Europe and North America have often influenced Brazil's own cultural output. For example, the hip-hop that has stemmed from New York is localized into forms of musical production such as funk carioca and Brazilian hip-hop. Bands from Rio de Janeiro also had influence in the mid to late development of the punk in Brazil and that of Brazilian thrash metal. Democratic renewal also allowed for the recognition and acceptance of this diversification of Brazilian culture. Some of the best singers in the history of Rio de Janeiro are Lobau Timmeia Ajep, Emilio Santiago, Vandro Mesquita, Biafra, Erasmo Carlos, Elmer Santos, Gretchen, Latino, Keisha Sega, Rafael Ilha, Sergio Malandro, E. Wilson Simano. Theater Rio de Janeiro's Teatro Municipal is one of the most attractive buildings in the central area of the city, home of one of the largest stages in Latin America and one of Brazil's best-known venues for opera, ballet, and classical music, the building was inspired by the Palais Garnier, home of the Paris Opera. Construction of the Teatro Municipal began in 1905 following designs of the architect Francisco Pereira Passos. The statues on the top of two women representing poetry and music are by Rodolfo Bernardelli, and the interior is rich with furnishings and fine paintings. Inaugurated in 1909, the Teatro Municipal has close to 1,700 seats. Its interior includes turn-of-the-century stained glass from France, ceilings of rose-colored marble, and a 1,000-pound crystal bead chandelier surrounded by a painting of the Dance of the Hours. The exterior walls of the building are dotted with inscriptions bearing the names of famous Brazilians as well as many other international celebrities. Cidade das Arts City of Arts is a cultural complex in Barra da Tijuca, in the southwest zone of Rio de Janeiro, which was originally planned to open in 2004. Formerly known as Cidade da Musica City of Music, it was finally inaugurated at the beginning of 2013. The project will host the Brazilian Symphony Orchestra becoming a main center for music, as will be the largest modern concert hall in South America, with 1780 seats. The complex spans approximately 90,000 square meters, 1 million square feet, and also features a chamber music hall, three theaters, and 12 rehearsal rooms. From the terrace there is a panoramic view of the zone. The building was designed by the French architect Christian de Portsum Park and construction was funded by the city of Rio de Janeiro. A series of covered theaters collectively known as Lona Cultural, administered by the city's municipal secretary of culture, serve throughout the city as venues for cultural activities such as concerts, plays, workshops, art and craft fairs and courses. Events New Year's Eve Every 31 December 2, 5 million people gather at Copacabana Beach to celebrate New Year's in Rio de Janeiro. The crowd, mostly dressed in white, celebrates all night at the hundreds of different shows and events along the beach. It is the second largest celebration only next to the carnival. People celebrate the new year by sharing chilled champagne. It is considered good luck to shake the champagne bottle and spray around at midnight. 
Chilled champagne adds to the spirit of the festivities. Rock in Rio Rock in Rio is a music festival conceived by entrepreneur Roberto Medina for the first time in 1985, and since its creation, recognized as the largest music festival in the Latin world and the largest in the world, with one. Five million people attending the first event, 700,000 attending the second and fourth, about one. Two million attending the third, and about 350,000 people attending each of the three Lisbon events. It was originally organized in Rio de Janeiro, from where the name comes from, has become a world-level event and, in 2004, had its first edition abroad in Lisbon, Portugal, before Madrid, Spain, and Las Vegas, United States. The festival is considered the eighth best in the world by the specialized site Fling Festival. Carnival. Carnival is an annual celebration in the Roman Catholic tradition that allows merrymaking and red meat consumption before the more sober 40 days of Lent penance which culminates with Holy or Passion Week and Easter. The tradition of carnival parades was probably influenced by the French or German courts and the custom was brought by the Portuguese or Brazilian imperial families who had Bourbon and Austrian ancestors. Up until the time of the Marchinhas, the revelry was more of a high-class and Caucasian-led event. The influence of the African-Brazilian drums and music became more noticeable from the first half of the 20th century. Rio de Janeiro has many carnival choices, including the famous Samba School Escolas, to Samba Parades in the Samba Drum Exhibition Center, and the popular Blocos de Carnaval Street Revelry, which parade in almost every corner of the city. The most famous ones are Cordao do Bola Preta, parades in the center of the city. It is one of the most traditional carnivals. In 2008, 500,000 people attended in one day. In 2011, a record 2 million people attended the city covering three different metro stations. Suvaco do Cristo band that parades in the Botanic Garden, directly below the Redeemer statue's arm. The name translates to Christ's armpit in English, and was chosen for that reason. Carmelita's band, that was supposedly created by nuns, but, in fact, is just a theme chosen by the band. It parades in Santa Teresa, a barrow from where one can see extensive panoramas. Simpatia Equase Amor, one of the most popular parades in Ipanema. Translates as friendliness is almost love. Banded at Ipanema, the most traditional in Ipanema. It attracts a wide range of revelers, including families and a wide spectrum of the LGBT slash queer population, notably drag queens. In 1840, the first carnival was celebrated with a masked ball. As years passed, adorned floats and costumed revelers became a tradition among the celebrants. Carnaval is known as a historic route of Brazilian music. Sports. Football. In the rest of Brazil, association football is the most popular sport. The city's major teams are Flamengo, Vasco da Gama, Fluminense, and Botafogo. Majurera, Bangu, Portuguesa, America and Bon Sucesso are small clubs. Famous players born in the city include Ronaldo and Romario. Rio de Janeiro was one of the host cities of the 1950 and 2014 FIFA World Cups, for which on both occasions Brazil was the host nation. In 1950, the Maracana Stadium hosted eight matches, including all but one of the host team's matches. The Maracana was also the location of the infamous tournament deciding match between Uruguay and Brazil, where Brazil only needed a draw to win the final group stage and the whole tournament. Brazil ended up losing 2-1 in front of a home crowd of more than 199,000. In 2014, the Maracana hosted seven matches, including the final, where Germany beat Argentina 1-0. Olympics. On 2 October 2009, 
the International Olympic Committee selected Rio de Janeiro to host the 2016 Summer Olympics. Rio made their first bid for the 1936 Summer Olympics, but lost to Berlin. They later made bids for the 2004 and 2012 Games, but failed to become a candidate city both times. Those games were awarded to Athens and London, respectively. Rio is the first Brazilian and South American city to host the Summer Olympics. Rio de Janeiro also became the first city in the Southern Hemisphere outside of Australia to host the Games Melbourne in 1956 and Sydney in 2000. In July 2007, Rio successfully organized and hosted the Roman 15 Pan American Games. Rio de Janeiro also hosted the 2011 Military World Games from 15 to 24 July 2011. The 2011 Military World Games were the largest military sports event ever held in Brazil, with approximately 4,900 athletes from 108 countries competing in 20 sports. Rio de Janeiro hosted the 2016 Olympics and Paralympics. The Olympic Games were held from 5 to 21 August 2016. The Paralympics were held from 7 to 18 September 2016. Other sports. The city has a history as host of major international sports events. The Ginásio do Maracanazinho was the host arena for the official FIBA Basketball World Championship for its 1954-1963 editions. Later, the Jacarepaguá circuit in Rio de Janeiro was the site for the Formula One Brazilian Grand Prix from 1978-1989. Rio de Janeiro also hosted the MotoGP Brazilian Grand Prix from 1995 to 2004 and the Champ Car event from 1996 to 1999. WCT slash WQS surfing championships were contested on the beaches from 1985 to 2001. The Rio Champions Cup tennis tournament is held in the spring. As part of its preparations to host the 2007 Pan American Games, Rio built a new stadium, Estadio Olimpico Joao Havelange, to hold 45,000 people. It was named after Brazilian ex-FIFA president Joao Havelange. The stadium is owned by the city of Rio de Janeiro, but it was rented to Botafogo de Futebol e Regatas for 20 years. Rio de Janeiro has also a multi-purpose arena, the HSBC Arena. The Brazilian dance slash sport slash martial art capoeira is very popular. Other popular sports are basketball, beach football, beach volleyball, beach American football, foot volley, surfing, kite surfing, hang gliding, motor racing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, luta liver, sailing, and competitive rowing. Another sport that is highly popular in beaches of Rio is called frescobol, pronounced frecabo, a type of beach tennis. Rio de Janeiro is also paradise for rock climbers, with hundreds of routes all over the city, ranging from easy boulders to highly technical big wall climbs all inside the city. The most famous, Rio's granite mountain, the Sugar Loaf Pau de Cucar, is an example, with routes from the easy third grade American 5, 4, French 3 to the extremely difficult ninth grade 5, 13 slash 8, up to 280 meters, 919 feet. Horse racing events are held Thursday nights and weekend afternoons at Hippodromo da Gavia. An impressive place with excellent grass and dirt tracks, it runs the best horses in the nation. Hang gliding in Rio de Janeiro started in the mid-1970s and quickly proved to be well suited for this town because of its geography Steep mountains encounter the Atlantic Ocean, which provide excellent takeoff locations and great landing zones on the beach. One of the most popular sea sports in the city is yachting. The main yacht clubs are in Botafogo area, 
that extends halfway between Copacabana and the center of town. Though the most exclusive and interesting is probably the Rio Yacht Club, where high society makes it a point to congregate. Most yacht clubs are open to members only, and gate crashing is not easy. Copacabana is also a great place to surf, as well as Arpodor of Ipanema Beach and Praia das Bandeirantes. The sea at these beaches is rough and dangerous, and the best surfers from Brazil and other sites of the world come to these beaches to prove themselves. Transportation Airports The city of Rio de Janeiro is served by the following airports for use. Galao Antonio Carlos Jobim International Airport, used for all international and most of the domestic flights. Since August 2004, with the transfer of many flights from Santos Dumont Airport, Rio de Janeiro International Airport has returned to being the main doorway to the city. Besides linking Rio to the rest of Brazil with domestic flights, Galao has connections to 19 countries. It has a capacity to handle up to 30 million users a year in two passenger terminals. It is located 20 km 12 mi from downtown Rio. The airport complex also has Brazil's longest runway at 4,113,123, 36 FT, and one of South America's largest cargo logistics terminals. The airport is connected to the express bus service. Santos Dumont Airport, used mainly by the services to Sao Paulo, some short and medium haul domestic flights and general aviation. Located on Guanabara Bay just a few blocks from the heart of downtown Rio, during the 1990s Santos Dumont began to outgrow its capacity, besides diverging from its specialization on short hop flights, offering routes to other destinations in Brazil. For this reason, in late 2004, Santos Dumont returned to its original condition of operating only shuttle flights to and from Congonhas Airport in Sao Paulo, along with regional aviation. The passenger terminal has undergone extensive renovation and expansion, which increased its capacity to 99 million users a year. The airport is connected to the city light rail system Rio de Janeiro Light Rail, which connects several transport systems to downtown. Jack Air Pago Roberto Marinho Airport, used by General Aviation and home to the Aero Club to Brassel Brassel Flying Club. The airport is located in the district of Baixada de Jack Air Pagua, within the municipality of Rio de Janeiro, approximately 30 km 19 mi from the city center. Military airports include Galao Air Force Base, a Brazilian Air Force Air Base, sharing some facilities with Galao Antonio Carlos Javam International Airport. Santa Cruz Air Force Base, a Brazilian Air Force Air Base. Formerly called Bartolomu de Gusmao Airport, it was built by the Luftschiffbau Zeppelin. Today it is one of the most important Air Force bases in Brazil. Afonso's Air Force Base, one of the historical Brazilian Air Force air bases. It is also the location of the University of the Air Force Universidade da Forca area, the Museu Aeroespacial, and where air shows take place. Ports. The port of Rio de Janeiro is Brazil's third busiest port in terms of cargo volume, and it is the center for cruise vessels. Located on the west coast of the Guanabara Bay, it serves the states of Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais, and Espirito Santo. The port is managed by Companhia Docas de Rio de Janeiro. The port of Rio de Janeiro covers territory from the Moa Pier in the east to the wharf of the Cashew in the north. The port of Rio de Janeiro contains almost 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet of continuous wharf, and an 883-meter, 2897-foot pier. The Companhia Docas de Rio de Janeiro administers directly the wharf of the Gamboa General Cargo Terminal, the wheat terminal with two warehouses capable of moving 300 tons of grains, 
General Load Terminal 2 with warehouses covering over 20,000 square meters, 215,000 square feet, and the wharves of our Cristoval with terminals for wheat and liquid bulk. At the wharf of Gamboa, leaseholders operate terminals for sugar, paper, iron, and steel products. Leaseholders at the wharf of the Cashew operate terminals for roll-on slash roll-off cargoes, containers, and liquid bulk. In 2004, the port of Rio de Janeiro handled over 7 million tons of cargo on almost 1,700 vessels. In 2004, the port of Rio de Janeiro handled over 2 million tons of containerized cargo in almost 171,000 TU. The port handled 852,000 tons of wheat, more than 1. 8 million tons of iron and steel over a million tons of liquid bulk cargo, almost 830,000 tons of dry bulk, over 5,000 tons of paper goods, and over 78,000 vehicles. In 2003, over 91,000 passengers moved through the port of Rio Janeiro on 83 cruise vessels. Public Transportation In Rio de Janeiro, buses are the main form of public transportation. There are nearly 440 municipal bus lines serving over 4 million passengers every day in addition to intercity lines. Although cheap and frequent, Rio's transportation policy has been moving towards trains and subway in order to reduce surface congestion and increase carrier capacity. Rio's public transportation service has been a target of many critics and the motive of the 2013's protests and manifestations that started in Sao Paulo and spread through the entire country. According to the people, the raise in the bus and subway fares are invalid, seeing that the amount charged is too high for the low quality of the services. The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Rio de Janeiro for example, to and from work, on a weekday is 95 min. 32% of public transit riders ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 19 min, while 35% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 12. 3 km, while 37% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Subway and Urban Trains Rio de Janeiro has three subway lines Metro Rio with 58 km 36 mi and 41 stations plus several commuter rail lines. Future plans include building a fourth subway line to Nitroi and São Gonçalo, including an underwater tunnel beneath Guanabara Bay to supplement the ferry service currently there. The metro is Rio's safest and cleanest form of public transport. The three lines serve the city seven days a week. The first line runs from General Osorio in Ipanema to Uruguay Station in Tijuca. The second line runs from Botafogo, sharing 10 stations with the first line, terminating at Pavuna in northern Rio. The third connects General Osorio to Jardim Oceanico Station in the Barra da Tijuca neighborhood, where the 2016 Olympic Games were held. The metro runs services from five. People can buy tickets for the metro at train stations and can either buy single tickets or rechargeable cards. People can also buy tickets for the metro at buses that may connect places far from the metro. Integration with buses are possible in several forms. An integrated metro and bus ticket for a single journey is available for some lines paying an additional fee and is known as an Integracao Expressa Express Integration and Expresso Barra. The other possibility is taking the Metro na Superficie Surface Metro with no additional fee. Supervia connects the city of Rio with other locations in Greater Rio de Janeiro with surface trains. It has eight lines and 270 kilometers, 168 mi, with 102 stations. Light rail. 
In order to improve traffic in the central zone, Prefecture started the project Porto Maraville, a marvelous port, which foresees a modern tramway system. Its lines will connect the central business district to Santos Dumont Airport, the ferry station at Roman 15 Square, the Novo Rio Terminal bus station at Santo Cristo, and the future high-speed rail Leopoldina station between Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. In 2016, for the Olympic Games, the light rail system was inaugurated, with 28 km 42 stations distributed in three lines. The trams are the first in the world to use a combination of ground-level power supply APS and onboard supercapacitor energy storage SRS in order to eliminate overhead lines along the entire route. Bus City buses cost about R3.80 to ride. They come in both non-air-conditioned R3.80 and air-conditioned versions R3.00 R5.00. 40. The system may be relatively safe by day but less so at night. Integration of bus lines has been recently implemented, allowing users to take two non-air-conditioned bus rides in two hours paying just one ticket. It is necessary to have a registered electronic card, the Bilhik Unico Karaoke BUC, in order to benefit of this system. Another type of local bus is called the Frescow Air Conditioned. These buses run several routes, the main being from Centro through Botafogo, Copacabana and Ipanema to Leblon and vice versa, and from the International Airport to Barra, through the beach road. They are air-conditioned about 22 deg C72 deg F more upscale slash comfortable and cost between R6 dollars. Zero R12 dollars. Zero. However, it is only available during weekdays. The buses also run more frequently during the rush hours in the morning and evening. Going in the direction of Centro City Center, the bus can be flagged down on the beach road buses with plaques showing Castillo. Ferry. The most geographically close sister city to Rio that is on the other side of Guanabara Bay is Nitroy. Many people who live in Nitroy, as well its neighboring municipalities Sao Goncalo and Marica, commute to Rio de Janeiro to study and work. There are several ferry services that operate between the Rio Centro Praca Roman 15 and Nitroi Centro and Charitas. There is a traditional boat as well as several fast cat hydrofoil boats. One of the city neighborhoods is Paqueta Island, which can only be accessed by ferry boats or hydrofoil boats. The ferry boat to Paqueta leaves every hour, from early in the morning until around midnight. There is also a ferry to Kokoda. Tram. Rio de Janeiro has the oldest operating electric tramway in Latin America, now mainly used by tourists and less by daily commuters. The Santa Teresa Tram, Bond Tram, or Bandinho Little Tram, has been preserved both as a piece of history and as a quick, fun, and inexpensive way of getting to one of the most quirky parts of the city. It was designated a National Historic Monument in 1985. The tram station, known as Largo da Carioca Terminal, is near Sinalandia and the Municipal Theater. Trams leave every 20-25 minutes between 8, 0 um, and 5.40 p.m. A ticket is R20. Zero about U.S. three dollars. Seventy-five one way or return, and people pay as they pass through the barrier to the right of the entrance. The Santa Teresa tram known locally as the Bond, the Brazilian-Portuguese word for tram commenced electric operation in 1896, replacing horse-drawn trams and extending the route. At this time, the gauge was altered to 1100 mm3 FT7 plus 5 slash 16 in which remains the case today. The tram cars currently in operation are Brazilian built, are of the cross bench open sided design, and are fitted with trolley poles. After a derailment occurred on 27 August 2011, 
which left six dead, tram service was suspended to improve the system. The elderly tram cars, which dated from the 1950s, were retired and replaced with newly built replicas that have the appearance of the old fleet, but with new mechanical equipment and additional safety features. Delivery began in 2014. The line's track was also rebuilt, and after some delays, about one-third of the line reopened in July 2015. More sections reopened later in stages, following repair of additional sections of track. The line was restored to its full pre-2011 length of 6 km 4 mi in January 2019. Road Transport Driving in Rio de Janeiro, as in most large cities of Brazil, might not be the best choice because of the large car fleet. The city is served by a number of expressways like Linha Vermelha, Linha Amerla, Avenida Brasil, Avenida das Americas, and Avenida Infante Dom Henrique at Terro do Flamengo. In spite of this, traffic jams are very common. Because of the organization of the 2016 Olympics, the city is installing four BRT systems to link Barra da Tijuca with other major neighborhoods. In Brazil, most interstate transportation is done by road. A large terminal for long-distance buses is in the Santo Cristo neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro. There are also two port facilities for cargo and passenger ships Rio de Janeiro and Sepetiba Port. Rio has roads to all neighbor states. Some roads like Via Dutra to Sao Paulo and a stretch of the BR-101 which covers the Rio Nitroi Bridge were chartered to private enterprises. The quality of the highways improved much, but was accompanied by a significant increase of the toll fees. From Sao Paulo, take the BR-116 President Dutra Federal Highway or the BR-101 Rio Santos Federal Highway. From Below Horizonte, BR-40. From Salvador, BR-101 or BR-324 slash BR-116 slash BR-393 slash BR-40. Bicycles. The city has 160 km 99 mi of cycle paths that, wherever they exist, are very much preferable to riding in the city's traffic. Most paths run alongside beaches and extend intermittently from the Marina da Gloria, Centro, through Flamengo, Copacabana and Ipanema, to Barra da Tijuca and Recreo das Bandeirantes. 6 kilometers 3. 7 miles of cycle paths traverse the Tijuca National Park. The bike Rio began operations in October 2011. This bicycle sharing system is sponsored by the municipal government of Rio de Janeiro in partnership with Banco Itau. The bike sharing system has 600 bicycles available at 60 rental stations in 14 neighborhoods throughout the city. Communications. The dialing code for the city of Rio de Janeiro RJ is 21. International relations. Twin towns, sister cities. Rio de Janeiro is twinned with partner cities. Rio de Janeiro has the following partner slash friendship cities. Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities. Rio de Janeiro is a part of the Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities. In popular culture. Movies. The 1979 James Bond movie Moonraker features scenes in Rio de Janeiro, including an action sequence on a cable car atop Sugarloaf Mountain between James Bond, Roger Moore, and multiple-time Bond adversary, Jaws Richard Keel. The movie Rio and its sequel, Rio 2, were mainly set in Rio de Janeiro and the Amazon rainforest. Fast and Furious 5 Fast 5 The Incredible Hulk, where Bruce Banner seeks hiding at Rossenha. Television An episode of Lipless Pet Shop, playing it on Rio, featured Blythe and the pets going to the carnival, but an old enemy shows up. Video games. Rio de Janeiro appears in the driving game 
River 2 as a city to unlock through playing the game in the undercover story game mode, and then being playable in the other game modes. Angry Birds Rio featured the birds from the Angry Birds series and characters from the films Freeing Exotic Birds or Defeating Nigel's Marmosets in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro was featured in the game Asphalt 8, airborne as a racing location. Gangstar Rio City of Saints, the sixth or arguably the seventh installment overall in the Gangstar series, is arguably as this is claimed by the publisher, Game Loft, the first action adventure video game to be set in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro was featured in the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Rio de Janeiro was featured in the racing game Forza Motorsport 6 as a street circuit. The circuit and all of its configurations were also included in Forza Motorsport 7. Rio de Janeiro appears as a playable map in Rainbow Six Siege, known as Favela. Rio de Janeiro appears as a track in the arcade-exclusive racing game Cruis and Blast, starting in the Mountain Streets and ending in the Rio Carnival.